This video will show you how to check in an item in Sitka's Evergreen. The check-in screen in Evergreen can be retrieved via the menu, circulation check-in, the shortcut on the home page, or by using the F2 function key. To check in an item, simply ensure your cursor is in the barcode field and scan the item. The item is checked in and the status is updated from checked out to reshelving. There are a number of circumstances in which further action will be required once the item has been scanned. Items triggering holds or transits will generate pop-ups and printable slips. Hold slips will tell you who the item is on hold for. Transit slips will tell you which library or branch to send the item onto. Pre-cataloged items also trigger a pop-up. Pop-ups will also appear for items with the status lost, missing, claimed returned, claimed never checked out, or mending. Staff with the appropriate level of permission can force the check-in of those items. Once an item is checked in, there are a number of actions that you can perform by selecting the item and going to the Actions menu. From here, you can perform actions such as retrieving the last patron who circulated the item, backdating a check-in after the fact, marking items as damaged or missing pieces, as well as editing items. To perform an action on multiple items, simply select the multiple items and then go to the Actions menu. The effective date can be changed to a date in the past to allow check-in to be backdated. This is done by adjusting the date by typing in the new date or by using the calendar widget to select a new date. When the effective date is in the past, a red header is added with the word backdated. Items are scanned in its normal and the system adjusts any fines based on the given check-in date. It is important to remember to change the effective date back to the present day before resuming regular check-in. Check-in modifiers located in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen change how particular functions of check-in work. When selected, modifiers appear in red at the top of the page. You can have multiple check-in modifiers selected. Some of the commonly used check-in modifiers include ignore pre-cataloged items. When selected, the system suppresses the pre-cat pop-up. And suppress holds and transits. When selected, holds and transits will not trigger, allowing staff to resolve any issues with the item before sending it on. Retarget local holds is another commonly used check-in modifier. When selected, the system will attempt to find a local hold to target the, to the item. This helps with proper targeting of newly cataloged items. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.